The Philippine Air Force PAF revealed in its latest Lead One Today quarterly newsletter that it is expecting delivery this year of the final six of nine Hermes 900 medium altitude long endurance mail, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs it ordered from Israel's Albit systems to enhance its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR capabilities. For ISR capabilities, the PAF is expecting the final delivery of two unmanned aerial systems, S. UAS is composed of a total of six Hermes 900 S ground control station, S ground data terminal, S and other support equipment, said the PAF in the newsletter, indicating that delivery of the first UAS comprising three Hermes 900s has been completed. Images of the first two PAF Hermes 900s emerged on social media in November 2019. And Elbit announced on 7 May 2020 that a maritime patrol variant of the platform, featuring a newly developed rescue capability had recently been handed over to an undisclosed Southeast Asian country. The customer is believed to have been the Philippines. The procurement of the male UAVs is part of the PAF's ongoing modernization program which also includes the acquisition of three Hermes 450 Long Endurance Tactical UAVs, two of which were handed over in August 2019. Manila has also ordered an undisclosed number of Skylark Lex and Skylark 3 UAVs, also manufactured by Elbit Systems, along with ground control systems, support equipment, training, and integrated logistics support. The Elbit Systems Hermes 900 Kachov Star is an Israeli medium-sized, multi-payload, medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV designed for tactical missions. It is a sequel to the Hermes 450 series of drones, one of the most widely used military drones in the world. It has an endurance of over 30 hours and can fly at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet 9, meters with a primary mission of reconnaissance, surveillance and communications relay. The Hermes 900 has a wingspan of 15 meters 49 feet and weighs 970 kilograms 2,140 pounds with a payload capability of 300 kilograms 660 pounds. Payload options include electro-optical, infrared sensors, synthetic aperture radar, ground moving target indication, communications and electronic intelligence, electronic warfare, and hyperspectral sensors. The Hermes 900 was first used by Israel during Operation Protective Edge in July 2014. It had been undergoing test flights and wasn't planned for operational deployment until late 2015 but it was introduced during the operation for unique missions that it could perform better than the Hermes 450. A few days after receiving orders to deploy the aircraft, one Kachov was readied for temporary activity. The Hermes 900's first operational mission took place on July 15, 2014, which was a link in a chain of operations that eventually led to a fighter jet attack that destroyed terrorist infrastructure. Maintenance on the aircraft during the operation was done by all the personnel because IAF ground teams had not yet been qualified to perform maintenance on it. And mission stations had all the representatives that guided the operators during combat flights. Following the end of the operation, the Hermes 900 returned to integration and flight testing to pass milestones that still needed to be met. The Hermes 900 was officially introduced into the IAF's operational lineup on the 11th of November 2015. Max Defense Philippines and Israel Defense reported that aside from the four Hermes 450 UAVs, 
The Philippine Air Force is also set to acquire 10 Hermes 900 UAVs, as well as ground control systems, support equipment, mission payload, and integrated logistics system, ILS, including training, technical support, and other requirements, as part of Horizon 2 of its modernization program, with delivery expected by 2020. As of November 2019 flight testing of airframes tail no. 9001 and 9002 are being conducted in country. Hermes 900 can also be utilized for ground support and maritime patrol missions as well as for integrated, multi-platform, multi-sensor operations. Based on the heritage of over 300,000 operational flight hours of the Hermes 450 UAS, the Hermes 900 employs identical building blocks using a larger air vehicle with nearly double the performance. Hermes 900 incorporates flexible, cutting-edge, multi-payload configurations. The system employs standard and long-range EO, IR, laser, SAR, GMTI and MPR, COMINT, DF, COMINT, GSM, COMMJAM, ELINT, EO. Hyperspectral systems, large area scanning systems, wide area persistent surveillance and other payloads. Mission management is performed in a highly autonomous manner via the Hermes Ground Control System GCS, designed to control combined Hermes 900 and Hermes 450 missions. Hermes 900 can perform two concurrent missions from the same GCS using two ground data terminals GDT. Hermes 900 is the most recent male UAS procured by the IDF as well as by multiple international customers. The Hermes 900 UAV complies with NATO Standardization Agreement STANAG 4671 requirement to operate in civilian airspace alongside the manned aircraft. It performed a series of flights certified by the Israeli Civil Aviation Authority during 2017-2018 and was rolled out in July 2018. The Hermes 900 UAV is suitable for military and commercial applications including intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance, ISTAR, homeland security, maritime patrol, border security, agriculture and industrial inspections and post-disaster surveys. The Hermes 900 Starliner unmanned aircraft is based on the Hermes 900 Tactical UAS. It has a wingspan of 17 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 1,600 kilograms. The aircraft's automatic takeoff and landing ATOL, capability allows it to take off and land in near-zero visibility environments. An active icing system is installed for removing ice on surfaces to ensure safe operation in icing conditions. The drone has direct and indirect lighting strike capability and can perform missions under Instrument Flight Rules IFR, in all weather conditions. The Hermes 900 Starliner unmanned air vehicle uses a heavy fuel motor to deliver high speed and an improved climb rate. The aircraft has a service ceiling of 30,000 feet and offers a flight endurance of up to 36 hours. The air vehicle is operated by two crew members including a pilot and a payload operator from the ground control station GCS, which incorporates a glass cockpit to identical computer consoles, a video camera display and a moving map display. The operator sends command, control and communications to the aircraft via data link. The Hermes family of unmanned aerial vehicles includes Hermes 90, Hermes 450, and Hermes 900. The aircraft are operational with the Israeli Air Force and have accumulated more than 600,000 flight hours to date.